The column from another dimension, by Macho Sika. It's the year 1869. You're interested in mansions which have the support of horror tales. You've heard about this Canadian mansion, which has been connected to shocking tales. Thus, you decided to explore the mansion. I suggest you play with headphones in a dark room. Enjoy! And again, I remember that, that I uh, am a bit delayed on the uh, Amnesia Gunsen story. Well, nothing to hurry about on that, right? Plus, there's something there's something of good I can I can guarantee you of it. Well I'll, I'll have to think about it as we play along. To figure out what should be worth it or not. Right? The call from another dimension. That our character transversing to the pathway to the to the hotel. Right then. Can I? Can I? I'm kind of curious to see what happens afterwards. For scare so scary. For now, anyway, whatever we got like here. Am I really going to leave the mansion? Well, I'm not totally pathetic. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> ah, that was a funny ending, but anyways. Well, I'm gonna have to uh I'm going to have to like uh, redo that one. I mean, really. Give me a second. A smart man indeed we were. Going outside. This mess doesn't look so scary for now, I think. But uh, which was the first one that I missed? Come on, I want to search the mansion. All right then, let's have a look at it then. Well, oh. headshot with explosive rounds. And uh, of course, there's Jesus, but. Uh, I, I can't voice act for the time he... Uh. For his voice right now, sorry for that. Boop. And I missed it horribly. Sorry for that, I just... Uh. Uh. There we go. Now that counts. Well, if this isn't a beautiful place, I have to admit, right? So, as of now... <sighs> right. It's a, bit, it's a bit dizzy, of course. What the hell is that? Hmm. Well, what can I do? I have a can do about that one, right? What do we got in here? No dinner book to the lift. Because we just started the game, we didn't get very existing supplies for now. Right. Sixty-eight. A local villager has gone missing his routine in evening walk. 
The villager's wife was concerned that her husband was not seen at home before midnight and informed the local police. Four hours later, the press had noticed a man's corpse near the Harlan Mansion. The corpse turned out to be a missing man. The missing man. According to police, the man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the man had multiple puncture wounds all over his body. The case is suspected to be related to a series of murder which happened three years earlier. Hmm. Maybe, right? A beautiful sound to hear when a, when a ghostly piano welcomes you by playing a tune for you, right? Indeed. Wait a second. Wasn't it the uh, the other one? This one destroyed, and the other was intact. Let me have a quick, better look at this. Unless I'm unless my mind is playing tricks on me again. Oh, he poor fell again. Don't mind, don't mind if I rebuild him back again, right? Now, allow us to start the procedure by like this, of course. Don't worry, I'm an extra an expert surgeon on uh, untrustable statues. I can do this perfectly well, I assure you. Now. More? Excellente. Sorry for that. Now we put the, this, this leg here completely backwards. And see into this slot where we're protruding it. And now the other arm is might be nowhere to be found. Oh, there it is. We found it. Well, another piece always to like uh, being, being able to solve around, right? Right. We're almost done with uh, rebuilding our little friend. Now you... You'll be set up about this. Excellent. And there he goes, because he's pretty much well happy now. Allow me to, re to, re to put again the, the leg back to place. See? Why do you, why do you think? Our, build our re rebuilding is complete. We did a fine job here. I'm proud of you all. Sorry for that. <sighs> right. So, as of now, nothing in here. And so is in here. Nothing other was there at all. Kapow! And everyone died, except... And everyone died. Excellent. Of course, a deep, a creepy, foggy place, because why not, right? But again, I assume that this place here would be uh, pretty well and pretty wide enough for, let's say, an easter egg or so, right? Just as a matter of fact, where the hell are we going? The hell are we now? Wait. Oh my god, that's so Oh my god. What have we done? Anyways, ew. Don't worry, it's just a bit of a fall damage. We'll do, we'll die in a bit. That is, if, if the game would ever set to it, of course. But of course again, I might ask you a question. How were you day have been? It was good? So it was mine, and of course it just uh, broke the broke the the third, broke the fifth dimension and it fell and fell to my own death. Right. Let's be on our way. This time we will not be as foolish as we were again. So as of then. Let's uh, let's not let's not do that again. Even though I I kind of appreciate that place would be, let's say, good enough for an Easter egg of some kind. But 
We never know whether then and, and until then, right? And we fucked everything up. Ooh. Uh, a beautiful little painting. How lovely. I just enjoy doing this. Don't ask me why. Yep! Who? Paul? Excellent! Ah, this is a <laughs> I'm just getting way too ahead of myself, am I? Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. Did you fall by yourself if I need the Wait a second. Ah, excellent. Wait, where'd it went? Ah, I see someone else is hiding there from on the other, on the other side. Excellent. Now. <laughs> Sorry. I just get way to get way too ahead of myself. As of then, let's proceed. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Yep. Sorry for that. I get a good grip. Throw them around. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry, I just I just getting a bit I'm getting I just gonna, I might be going a bit crazy, of course. Yep. Right then. Yep. Cockroach. Right. Now let's uh Let's be on our way again, and, and this time, let's uh, gotta gather again our little, uh, little friend. Of course, this anatomy of an of intrusible stash is completely wrong. There we go. Now it's a bit more trustable, a bit, but I would say, but I would not say fully trustable. Plus, again, this place here with all the chairs, and so let's give it a look, shall we? The study room is locked. Then? Wait, we've been here before, we already heard the, uh, the beautiful sound play. Now, get it, we got it. Yep! And, excellent. I love it when y'all just, uh, de let's say, disintegrate like that. Now we got our key. And into the study we shall go. Hmm. Creeping dark shed in it. Hmm. Right. Yep. Bum bum bum. Give me a second, let me get them get just get a, a, a sip of water. Ah uh, yes, 13-1-1869, an elderly woman had been on uh, her traditional evening stroll on a local village road. The stroll had been normal until the woman walked into Hurley Mansion. She saw a miscued old tower that Hurley Mansion Country Yard, with whose meaning oh, nobody knows except the master himself. This how the woman described what she saw. When I was out by the Hurley Mansion, I looked at it and I saw an odd blue color, odd blue clear, uh, colored light coming from the tower. I stopped to see where the light could be from. After a few seconds, some kind of portal glowing, glowing blue open above above the tower. And after that, I heard a loud noises. The earth started, the earth started to shake. Creatures that looked inhumane, with odd features, like long fingernails and body parts hanging oddly or missing completely. Step out of the portal. After this, I ran home as fast as I can with his old legs of mine. Nobody confirmed what happened, and it wasn't taken seriously. 
However, a couple of days that one of the later, the woman was found killed near the Harlan Mansion. The body had similar deep stab wounds, like the man also found near the Harlan Mansion a month ago. Police believe the cases are, are the cases to be connected. Right. Right. But of course, keep in mind that whenever you hear the sound, danger. If there's a mask around, and nowhere we're safe. <laughs> Sorry. I gave it a little growl to it. Yep. Jam day. Well, you don't say. Let's see, let's make it spin. For my, for my, for what I know, I thought to make it spin. Uh, that had a little, that had a minimum effect of a kinetic energy on it. Excellent. Now this one had bigger, more, bigger effect. Excellent. Spin, my little friend. Spin. Twenty-one. Nine, eighteen, sixty-nine. Eighteen years ago, my father died in an accident, which led to which the police found the reason. That's a good thing, because the mind of the normal person would not have withstood these kind of things. After I grew up elsewhere, I decided to return to my family's mansion, and I wanted to continue my father's work. I began to serve, serve Loki the trickster again. I started by uh, to build a connection to another dimension, to call Loki's servants to walk on Earth, and destroy everyone within humanity who does not deserve to live. But I, but I couldn't avoid misfortune. At last, when I managed to create a connection and open the portal, there was an eyewitness. I couldn't allow this. I had to destroy him. A month later, I managed to open the portal once more. But again, as if magic, there was another eyewitness. Uh, she, unfortunately, got to tell the press about it, what she saw. But luckily, they didn't, they didn't believe her. And, and we got to destroy her later in peace. From then, on, from then on, I succeeded in my job excellently. When I bite the dust, my children will carry on my work. Don't you worry, Loki. <sighs> right. Let's see here what we've got. Right. Now? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Excellent. The workroom. Of course, there might be some characters around, but uh, what I can tell you is this: I uh, my throat kind of hurts a bit. I mean, I'm very tired, and I don't have the proper energies to make any. Uh, yeah. Um, what's happening? Okay. Right. This is a small a bit of a. A few blue fire burning around. Oh, it's a mystical tower described. Ah, and there it is, the blue lights. Oh, uh, yeah, as I saw, there would be a lot more. And then the portal opens. On a while, I guess, some, someone might break free from it. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I think I see something coming out of it right about uh, there. There it goes. Ah, it's a grunt. The bro. Then we got the uh, the swordsman. I can identify from the distance. And then we got a blind man. I have to leave this thing right now. I bitch just jumped right out the window. And a blind man. Right. Right then. So since we've been captured by that thing... Right then. Right, I hear the blind man. Oh. 
where, oh, where is he? Uh, there he is. There's the blind man right there. Check it out, oh, get yourselves. Right, let's be on our way then. Got some bars in the ground, and of course, right up there. This kind, this might work. I don't know, but this might work a bit. I kind of have an idea of how to how to escape this place. I've done this before. Just gotta gotta gather up a few boxes here, which is are actually more than in, more than good enough to like uh, assure or escape or escape paid. Of course, the barrel, even though we, it's not trustable and uh, with good reasons. I've been through it. Breaks games. It breaks the games. Of course, the trees as well, crouching under them, and then boom, everything is all snap snarl onto you. Polygons and cells just holding you down the entire time. And, much to do about it but hey what can I do about it right yep <laughs> right there's that guy but he's riding down there thankfully it's not as the start does not include zombies thankfully but we never know at some point yep. maybe the blind man the swordsman and the grunts We'll have to make up some sort of new name for it, right? We might have considered it the, uh... Hmm... What what beasts? What is the beast of or animal that contains large, huge claws? Or the size of that monster we, uh... Of the grunt? We should we will rename it. Only time to tell. And it's only bound up to us to discover it. But sooner or later, we'll figure that out. Sooner or later. Ooh, no, for everything that's holy, do not fall. Now. Ooh. Ne <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Excellent. For a bit of mobility, and look at this. We already flee from it. How how relaxing can that be, right? Now Stab. Hmm. <laughs> let's 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 figure out this place. Hmm, what do we got here? Just a little old fireplace. Sanity potion, a ladnam natum, a crowbar, and a bone saw. The place where we've been through, we uh, like for me it was more than obvious. Now, we got our stuff and lock day. Hmm, find a key to get out of prison. <sighs> right, let's be on our way then. Plus again, I know that the uh oh, I know that I'm kind of I kind of owed a bit uh, the amnesia for a few days. I can tell you this. Well, my computer, I uh, what the bloody hell was that? I saw something was like was like lunging right at my face, and we have cockroaches everywhere. Just something opening. And the poor little fella just stuck in there. <laughs> Goodbye! And now it's in prison in there for the rest of its life. What is up then? Ah! We haven't explored one place yet, but afterwards. Or before, I don't know. We got 15 of them. A torture, a torture cell with a saw, 
be the wooden thing and a hammer, a uh, bag cage, a bucket. Hello, my good friend. How are you doing there? I don't seem to be very alive, and we seem to be disturbing your privacy. Allow me to close back the uh, take a little back to close back the Iron Maiden. Yeah, and you're very welcome. But first, well, I might have to guarantee like a a small little contraption for him to, for him to like for every for an to never bother him ever again, right? So he may rot in peace. Well, that's a bit of insult to injury, but well, anything for laughs and so right. I mean. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go take it to insult to injury then a lot of times, but... Well, we do see a lot of mistakes at times, and there's nothing much we can do about it. There isn't much, there isn't much we can do about it. What do we have here? That's a... Uh... Oh, I kinda wonder now. And of course we need to find a lantern, but... Where in the bloody hell can that lantern be? You weed goddamn lantern! Hmm. Right then. Yep! Yep! Never mind! What do we have here? There's a clock, clock, desk clock. Yep. Excuse me for a bit, Mr. Chair. Door is jammed, eh? Don't mind if I do. The evil mark, eh? An upside down, the upside down star. The mark of the marking of hell, but. Of course, we rotate it perfectly. No, everything's all fine. But like this, it means cursed. Well, I could, I might find that, I might find that a bit useful when I'm gonna make some, uh, well, some custom stories. If I ever get the proper opportunity to make some, right? Excellent. <sighs> ah, one of those, uh, corkscrew lids or something like that. To this bottle, which is incredibly unbreakable. Now let's be on our way then and proceed right up there. I mean, right up to uh, where we need to where we need to progress to. But hey, what can I do, right? Either way, we need to pro. I hear, I hear the blind man. Time, white girl just came out of nowhere. There he is. He went to that way, but of course that's that's not taking up a proper opportunity. Then uh, let's proceed as fast as we can. As we can. Whoa! Was that all? Well, that was a quick one. Wait a second. I wonder if, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Yeah. Well, what can I do about it, right? Indeed. What can I do about it? I got a, a lot of oil. And another jar of oil. But where's the lantern, right? There's no such thing as a lantern nearby whatsoever. But for the time being, having another lantern, we'll have we'll certainly have some time sooner or later. Excellent. Then we proceed to the main hall. Uh, 
the place up there seems a bit too suspicious, doesn't it? Of course, but first... Well? What could be so relieving in open uh, opening a door, right? Fact is... The uh, levers. Now those are a pain in the ass. Numbers and levers and so... Ugh. That's a... So, so some pain no one is it, cause... Could we, could we endure? See? I don't feel, but this is like what I kind of portrayed it back then. When I, when I looked up here. About this place looking a bit too suspicious. Hmm. Mr. Chair! Saving the day once again. And taking a rest up there in the closet. Wait a second. How am I supposed to get that? Well. There we got it. That's what mattered the most. What else have you got? Another jar, lantern, jar of oil. Did I miss the lantern at some point? I hope not. Johans noted to Harman. If you're going to continue my work, here's some advice. There's another elevator that's on the, to the ground level. But if it's not working, there is also a soul stairway to the main hall. To the ground. I used to keep the machine room door locked and I hit the key in the study. If the elevator engine breaks, there are a few spare rods in storage. But whatever you do, do not go in the laboratory. Johan. Right, the memento speaks. Spare parts of the elevator are being held in storage. Machine. Yes, yes, there we go. Lock day. Don't mind if I do. Holy shit. Well, that's what we get for do that's what we get for disturbing his uh privacy. Plus again, I thought I thought we were, we were already in the ground level. Ouch. Unless this uh let's say went up to a whole nother level. Still, I'll take it. It's going it's going a whole lot more awesome. What do we have here? Lock the room? Study. Another lock room. And another lock room. How fantastic can it be, right? Now let's proceed into the study. To see what uh to see what uh things or horrors we may or we may awake. bad about that place for the time being. Let's search around the other places first. But wait. There's stuff to... Oh. But again, you know what's funny? I thought I was winding up like a... Uh, one of these uh, things to play and not a dying and not a bomb to explode. Well, we're not disturbing anyone's privacy in, uh, in here, I hope. Well, just like that monster, hiding in the closet doing god knows what. Well, maybe he was just waiting for me the entire time, or he was a uh, baby busy fixing the closet on the inside. We never know for sure. Mother rat on the other side. A uh, lunatic lamp. We rub it on and press it and can out come the genie to make us our wishes and so. Well, that seems pretty, inter pretty inspiring, doesn't it? Right, it's getting, it's getting a bit dark now. And I have no such lantern with me whatsoever. What do we have here? One of these, uh, things? I can't really tell what these are, what this is. We got here, got, here we got a doggy. <laughs> For 
crap, we're seeing that totally did not come in here. I'll defend myself with a, a rug. Yeah, this might do the trick more often. <laughs> that man was not dead before. That man was not like that before, was he? Well. At least he deserves some comfort, but, well, it rolled out. There's not so much you can do about it. Plus, I got sanity potions. So, we're good. For the most part, that is. Get your ass up, we gotta move. This little thing is free. Uh, the little pot is free. And so is uh so is this one. Right. Uh block. Rare books library. Huh. Ah, he, he broke free. Right then. These guys are very are completely untrustable. But we barely moved their head, it's making them a bit more trustable. And throw it away. Yeah. I would like to just stay and build up, but well, I do kinda of have an idea of what our armored friend could be could be. Well Stay up, would you kindly? Stay up. Good. Now we just gotta gather up the head. And we just put it like this. Well, we almost had it. Give me a second, I can do this. Real quick, I can do this. This uh, proper base of uh, concept of balance. What would be this trick? You bloody. Fine. Have it your way. But I didn't have a bad feeling about this room here. We got 17 candles here. Well, why not, right? Why not? The la the They're all been uh, lit up in the form of a demon sacrifice. Kinda. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, unproportional a bit, but what can I do about it? But I spy with my little eye something pretty, something very interesting. What do we got here? We have made a gorgeous new machine in our tower. The elevator. With that beacon, it can climb back up, back and to the surface very easily. Unfortunately, it breaks sometimes, and here's a key to the machine room. If it breaks again, I have tasks with smaller engines too. In the library is my first prototype of a secret door mechanism. There are three books we have to pull from the shelf. It only works when the other exit is disabled. Oh. Kinda like this? But I spy with my little eyes something about something on the far side. This? Right. I do believe I have to like pull these books and in place. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I might have uh Hmm. We'll have to figure that out one by one. Well, did I, did I completely miss the, uh, the lantern at some point? I did just guess, I would guess most of the uh, yes, we missed it. Well, we know we only want what, only God knows what we, what, what we may be setting ourselves into at this point, right? Yes, 
I thought so. There's something wrong with this. I picked up uh, some sort of a laboratory key. Ouch. Right then. That's a uh, set. Uh, there's something more I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not aware of. I got a laboratory key at some point, but hmm. This is a little secret exit, where could it be? Right? I mean really as well. Where could it be? And where are we heading? <sighs> right. The night closes in. And the, the room gets darker for me. Oh. I believe that there was something of it, but I had a bad feeling about this. Uh, about what happened. Excellent. I'm uh, one step ahead because I still gotta remember. No, not you. Oh, this place. Where is it? I have no idea. But. I gotta have some time for it, because I don't know at this point. Ah hell, the portal is open! Fuck it! I'm off! Now, it was foretold that we kind of, that we, we were, that we, uh, opened up. Some sort of a uh, place, right? Laboratory key. The Rare Brooks Library. Of course, I'll be a bit of a rebel and uh, head into the. Uh, <laughs> I'll head into the. Uh, it does get a. It does get a bit uh, a bit unnerving up when uh, when I'll get stuck, right? Well, nothing much can do about it. Now we got the machine room key. Now all we need now. If the... What was it again? Now all we need now, what's this? The library. Yes, we locked the place down. Right, we're back here again. And... We bought ourselves, we got ourselves a uh... Well, how might I say? It was still not to go to the laboratory, but my curiosity kind of it get, it's getting the it's, it's getting the better of me at this point. <laughs> Got a lot of tinder boxes. No need to fill up the window lens is already full. Tell me something I don't know. But you can tell me where the lantern would be that I missed it, or if I will, it will still get my hands on it. Ah, the stairway. We we uh explore the 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 entire upper floor by complete. But out of now, we should uh we should also take a closer look here. Well. Laboratory key. There's a machine key, but I know the machine. What? Okay. Machinaria was at the machine room, but well, let's keep it with us for the time being. And that's where we came from. What else is there? To explore around. <laughs> Storage. Uh, 
<sighs> and what do we have as of now? Good old lighting. I, can, I like to light up these torches. They seem like to be the most awesome, the most useful, and the most practical. Uh, there's something coming from that door. A terrible essence, you may say. Well, if that you say, then I completely agree with you. Frame range off skill of that. Ah, uh, that's an one to no go. That one that doesn't have the, the wooden tool. Well, the barrel do not deserve any any comfort of some lighting more than they already have. And more of which they shouldn't have. Let's explore this place, because why the hell not? Now, since we got no sign or no lantern whatsoever, there was some there's someone on the other side. I kind of broke down a bit of a bottle. Now, what's this one? Ah, uh, some Prussia something. Some kind of Prussia. Oh, wine of Prussia, maybe? I just guess. Yeah, another Prussia wine. And, uh, and another bottle of pressure wine. How peculiar. Ah, you bloody devil. A monster comes out this way. He destroys up the door as we have his feet. Now. He's coming inside, isn't he? Go away. For everything that's holy, do not come in here. Do not come here! I dare you! I mean, uh, don't you dare! Do not come in here! Good. You better move along. And things are a whole lot more comfortable, aren't they? Now, where did the bloke? Uh, the door is already open. Why are you breaking it? And he poofed out. It makes complete sense just to break a door that's completely open for no for no apparent reason. Oh, what do you have here? The Trinity Steam Rod. Right. Let's get some light to this place. No lantern. Then we're mostly at a loss. But, what can I do about it, right? Right. We should uh, leave a bit of darkness to hide around. A kind of box. That should give me a. Or push your wine or something or something or orbit. Ooh. Now these ones are breakable. Now these one I can break. Ah hell. Ah, a beautiful little flower here. And what do we got here? Opium. We do we certainly don't need that. We broke this one as well. Hmm. What should we got here? Move to this side. The four phase amplitude rod, and now there's only one more missing. 
can have those in, we may be able to proceed as best as we can. Excellent! Now? Well... The Flow Cycle Rod. Excellent. We, we apparently got one, two, three, four, five of them. Ah, uh, now the blind man comes! He's on way too close! <laughs> you blast, you bloody bastard! No. Really close, isn't he? Ah, oh, shit. No! <laughs> now I understand most of the basics of a, a dark room. And headphones as well. So we can be emerged into it. But something that I, or that I would guess mostly that would be pretty efficient would be an Oculus Rift or a Steam VR. Or steam virtual reality to it. Now that and now I heard as up then, it would certainly have a lot more uh, better effect. Uh, open. I command you to open. Oh really? You stay open. Excellent. Oil has been all gathered up. And let's proceed to the main hall. We go. Right. I got all every single one of the uh, every single one of the uh, every single one of them in place. Lock day. Don't mind if I do. With my with my itty bitty little key, I can guarantee access to anywhere I wish to go. Now, this here would be the, would be the machine room. It's a whole lot more larger than I, than I thought it'd be. I may switch for elevator engine. Steam pressure is correct. I see. Well, what can I do about it? Now. Trinity, blue triangle, flow, cycle run, green circle, and red square. Steam pressure is not correct. Now allow us to... well... There is not enough coal in the burner. That's easy. There is a burner. I can have, I can have this old chap. For any previous adventures I've been into. Oh, there we go. Excellent. This one is like in the great piece. Every single coal, coal piece I set in there would be more than thankful to it. Well, maybe it's not just for the fact that it breaks, or it might be by the fact that simply the coal burns out. And of course, they might need more coal. So, there's that. But thankfully, electricity exists now. And there's not a much of a trouble now. Now, if there's something more to, to settle, then tell me. Excellent! The engine works, and it works a whole lot better now. Now, into the main hallway, we shall go. But before we head into the, uh, the elevator, I want to check out the laboratory. Because, well, why not? And we in the of that, we got the key for it. So let's keep it at hand. Alright, let's, uh, let's put it in our pocket and, uh, well, I can access it, I can jump over it. I can open it before the barricade is removed. Is that a so? 
Well, don't mind if I do then. Up there. Up there. Right. Now, up we go. The other door would be outside. Let's go for the stairway. Blame me. Am I you with this one right now? Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait a second. Work room. Ah hell. Well. We did the best we could around. So? Ah, my eyes! You have beaten the tower of another dimension. So that's the end. The Call from Another Dimension by Macha Sika. Scripting and writing by Macha Sika. Designer Assistant Tattoo. Plot Macha Sika and Tattoo. Beta testers are Hirvo, Bake, Bonka, Edge, and Bees. Main production, main proofreader would be Tsukanuke. Proofreader assistants would be Pake. Uh, there's Twitter, and so thanks for playing. Hope you enjoyed. For now, we've beat up the. Uh, the. Uh, the. Uh, call from another dimension, the tower. But as of now, I kind of feel my teeth are a bit of a, a bit of a trouble, aren't? Isn't it? So, give me a second. I'll see you in a bit. Dental nightmare by Matasika. Many are afraid of dentists and the operations they want to do in you or to do to you. Hence, I thought I could make a funny little custom story about a visit to the dentist. You're going to be, you're going to see your dentist, but you're very afraid of dental operations. Sad, sad face. Let's see how scared you are. Enjoy. Well, depends on how when what's the terminology of scared you mean. Approved by dentists worldwide. Hmm. No, I have to fix my teeth. I want to see the the end for this one. Ah, right. I have to fix my teeth. All right. So, and there you are, little bastard. A good old lantern. Tinderbox and oil. Oil for the lantern, because why not? And unlocked. And also locked. Well, I don't doubt that uh, in I can't do I can't do this. And we collapsed. Well. There we go. Well, this is, might be the nightmare our good old character might be afraid of. And that every patient that captures souls for torture of all kinds. Right. Tinderbox. Well, that one got brutally murdered, I think. I think. Sit down. Take a rest, Mr. Chair. I'll be with you right in a bit. Yeah. Another one. That doesn't surprise me a lot, but... Well... Bloody hell. That one's real! It was not... It wasn't real. Who would have thought, right? Haha. <laughs> well, what else you've got? You're gonna do something, aren't you? Right. Pearl. Yep. Turn. Hmm. 
Oh, that's from the other side. That's what you worry about on that one. But just keep an eye out on a few things and see how it goes. Now those are some huge pliers, aren't they? But one thing I kind of, I kind of, I'm kind of thinking of is pliers. I think they might be used for industrial work at this point. Well, that's just guessing, of course. But they can also be used. Uh, they can be a good, a good, useful tool for decapitating one of them. Let's just get this over with. The crowbar. Right. Right, because why not? At this point. Hmm. I kinda wonder now. Watch one of these become a monster. That I'm a that that can be. Quick question. Does it also work on this one as well? That's this. Oh. Now, for some people, whereas this this on the knife, this blade, and the dentist would, uh, of course, lift up some fears. That would be normal. Uh, let me give it. Let me. Man in here. And I was only about to give him a bit of a close the bloody door, mate. Now, <sighs> right. Why was I not scared of that? Of course, would it, of course, a uh, phew, that was only a night, a dental nightmare. Well, so there you have it. Two custom stories in a row. I, I'm, I think you, I hopefully you enjoyed it all as much as I did. I wanted to like uh, get the laboratory in the call of the, the dimension one, but. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much for for accompanying me to another adventure, and I'll see you, and I'll uh, see you by tomorrow morning. Oh, and there's some time we kind of delay, and that's the Alcarnia Plenty of Garage mod to see. Well, how about this? But on the three days of tomorrow, of of tomorrow, why not we do a a row of three uh, Garage mod horror stories? Because why not, right? But I think I hope you I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you very much for coming to another adventure. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you then. And until next time.